Dear friends, greetings of peace to all from Sri Lanka, Jaffna, Classica. We are very excited to share with you one of our major projects that we have been involved in for the past 15 years. This is a special program offered by us as Claritians to empower the young generation of our time. So my dear friends, what is Classica? Classica is an apostolic ministry of the Claritians in Lanka since 2007. Classica stands for Claret Silver Kadambo. It means Claret children gathered like gala, made of different kinds of fragrant flowers. Classica offers holistic empowerment programs for children, youth, parents and animators through well-designed psychosocial and spiritual tools. From the Bible, we could see Psalm number 1 to 7, verses 3 to 5. Behold, children are heritage from the Lord, the fruit of the womb, a reward. Like arrows in the hand of a warrior are the children of one's youth. Blessed is the man who fills his square with them. He shall not be put to shame when he speaks with his enemies in the gate. Yes, my dear friends, children are blessing and God's possession. They are for God's gift. But parents and other key personalities should do what is necessary to bring them up in the truth. Truth is to value their lives above all and to reject unnecessary obstacles and to find in them integrated holistic embodiment. From the very foundation of our congregation, our Claritian spirituality is rooted in the Holy Scripture, the Most Holy Eucharist and tenderly called the Marian relationship. We are called to deepen our rootedness in the foundation of our spirituality, our way of life and our identity. So we share this rich heritage with our brothers and sisters in every possible manner, especially for those who feel the need for it and are hungry and thirsty. Gathering from afar, colonization, degenerate politics, racial discrimination, bloody war against civilians in the name of peace, poverty, loss of ethics, have left deep-rooted stigma and trauma in people's hearts, especially the lives of the young generation. Hence, the need for ministries of Classica took different forms from its foundation. As we gaze upon the life of witness of our beloved founding father, St. Anthony Mary Claret, Archbishop of Santiago de Cuba, can see how he himself works hard in the Orange Grove to raise funds to raise the standard of the living for children and see the Archbishop who founded the Academy of St. Michael in 1858, a secular apostolic society for the evangelization of culture and founded in 1859 a college, a seminary, a university and a community of priests. In all these endeavors, we can clearly see the mission of our founder to educate children, youth and all who come with them. 
as the missionary sons of the Immaculate Heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary, even in our lifetime, we have so much so to do in following the mannerism of our Father Founder. So my dear friends, let us see why the Classica must exist. We can see that children and students are often vulnerable in today's world and they need special care from society. Children and students should be facilitated to embrace their true self and grow into their fullness. So let us now see what is the objective of our mission. Healing of the wounds caused by traumatic experiences of the past through proper psychosocial and spiritual too and making an inner transformation and an attitudinal change in the heart and mind of the children by providing value education on peace, harmonious living, respecting others, tolerance towards differences, respect and equality to everyone, whereby we hope to create a better world which respects and treats everyone with dignity and provide with equal rights and opportunities to everyone. Our Holy Mother Church, from the beginning, she always taught us, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother, that it may go well with you, and that you may live long in the land. Fathers, do not provoke your children to anger, but bring them up in the discipline an instruction of the Lord. Train up a child in the way he should go. Even when he is old, he will not depart from it. Proverbs chapter 22 verse 6 The training will include love and instruction as well as the road of discipline. Children, submission to the proper authority is that of the children and parents. Classica reaches out and stays close to children, parents and teachers in order to inculcate the habit of finding true protection in the bosom of God. As our Claritian culture invites us to cultivate adoring intimacy with the Lord which brings in us the faithfulness and values of witnessing characters with the experience of Lord's burning love so that we can be the hearts of love wherever we go and whomever we meet. This will make us rooted and audacious in mission. This culture of us also should illuminate in our working partners. As the celebration of the chapters invites us to reflect and to deepen in our mission, we as a Claritians are listeners and servants of the word, and we must proclaim the word with courage, using the most effective means of communication in our responses to the needs that arise at work. This criteria is our internal objective. So, we have designed the project into three components. Number one, weekend residential ski. Number two, a school-based outreach program. Number three, conducting seminars for the parents and teachers. The Classicast residential program premises situated at number 15 Columbutre Road, Chundukuli Jaffna. For this reason, a semi-permanent structure has been constructed with basic facilities. During the weekend residential program, we offer sessions, games and other related activities in the following areas. 
Who am I? Every emotion is beautiful. Personality and personality development. Etiquette and behavior. Leadership qualities. My ambition and its map. At school level, we visit the most vulnerable areas and pay particular attention to those identified as slow learners, learning difficulties, and behavioral problems. This is why, during this period, 24 schools have been provided by the regional educational directors. Main partners of the program, Claration of Lanka and Kinder Mission Work, Germany. Now let us look the seeds of our program. Number one, we have ample hardware resources to accommodate our participants. Number two, participants feel encouraged and supported in their development. Number three, resource personalities are dedicated and passionate. Number four, we are able to meet the financial needs of the project with the contribution of the generous donors and the congregations. Number five, school animation programs are conducted as planned. Number six, some parent meetings are animated. Number seven, the leadership team is happy to provide support and services as needed. So now let us look into the weeds. Number one, permanency of the staff. They could not be paid enough to meet the daily living expenses. Number two, the unstable economy of the country is way to the unexpected liquidity. As independent delegation of St. Joseph was from this part of the world, we are pleased to present this video in our special mission with children and those associated with them. Here I would like to recall our Superior General Father Matthew Watamata, CMF's concluding remarks delivered on September 12, 2021 at the conclusion of the 26th General Chapter. Let us commend ourselves and our forward journey with our discovery dreams, designs, and commitments which we made during the chapter to the heart of the Blessed Mother who cherishes us, her sons, in the forge of her heart and always accompanies us in our life and mission. We are strengthened by the intercession of our beloved founder, our martyr brothers and the Claritians who are called to the home of the Father. We glorify God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit with all our lives.